Look, y'all. I, I made this little uh, cross right here. It's handmade. Look how good I just you made that. You did a that. wonderful job on that. Oh, thank you. Yeah, got Denise Tree Service and Isaac out here. Yep, riding my bike. <laughs> We're going to cut this tree down real quick. Leave a high stump. Oh, man. That's, that's all there is to right it. Here. <laughs> out here. So what we're cutting? Got, got Ryan out here with me today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We got the backhoe out here. So, we're going to climb. This is Goodson's Adventures and McNeese Tree Service round two. We're climbing super, super high today. Oh, yeah, we're climbing super high. <laughs> well, all my cuts are going to be within six, seven feet off the ground, so. so I'm just putting the gear on. Yeah, we got to drop these limbs down. This one goes that way, that one goes that way, this one goes that way. It's a real easy tree. Yeah, yeah. I don't have a reason to climb any higher. Alrighty. Alright, I guess I'll get started. Let's get started. <laughs> If you guys don't know what that thing is, you can uh, always tell your kids. Them are the little little tool to climb trees. And that's the safety strap, and that's the little uh, strap to hang on to your saw with. Just pay caution to make sure the gas doesn't leak out. Yeah. Yeah, 
thought you was going to head up and cut them. I thought you was going to have to take them little limbs and drop them, you know, like hinge them down up no. there on that one. This one right behind this one? Yeah, no, one, one you're hanging on to. That oh, one right there. I'm well, the whole the, thing. Like, See, this, this one leans over towards the back. back. Right. And this one leans towards the lines. So instead of me fighting against the power lines and fighting against the fence, they both counter each other out. They both lean evenly that way. So it'd be easiest to take them both at the same time. Got gotcha. you. Gonna drop that one That's down the hill. From down here, yeah. But I, so, I like so we're going. Harder. It's going to be close to the edge of the road. We're going to make sure. Yeah, no, yeah. You, we, it, it will probably get a little bit in the road. That's what so. I figured. <laughs> You're wound up, aren't you? Yeah, that's it. I just wound up this morning. I'm trying to keep my. I don't really want to tie into the one behind me. You know what I mean? But no, it's like awkward because my lanyard's like. Yeah, I'll twist it up. There you go. Now, that, that's, a, that's a thinker. I can get you that ladder, but we we don't we don't use ladders. I didn't think we did. I mean, I I, I thought we'd look like the rest of them. Pixie, see what you say. There's a little spike. Oh, there's hooks that dig into the tree. But you got you're you're about dead nut center of what I think that tree just wants to sit there if you're thinking about the counterweight, but we really got it. I think the weight's fine. I'm trying to, I'm trying to see how it's gonna fit. Because that, because this right fork, right. if I take it that way, that right fork, that little limb right there, that's going to get the fence. I mean, but there really ain't. I don't think. Right, right, right there. I think it's going to be right at the end of the road. I think it's going to be good a little bit in the road, probably. Yeah, it's going to be good. Oh, we're getting, we're back and forth. We're, we're going to, hold on, I'm going to pop this all back on. I'll, uh. Plum bob, bobber. Plum bob, bobber. Yeah. Yeah. Not that I mean using it more than checking that's, the lean, but also checking the distance, see if something fit. That's what we use for building houses. DIY plum bob. White with the string. Now, you know, you use it to check your. Gravity. Yeah, but I use it to see if something fit. If I stand, if I stand 90 degrees to where it's going to fall, and I'm looking at the window between, I'm looking at the height of the tree, I'm looking at the way that it's going to fall in. You take your thumb, you do it at the base of the tree, your thumb, you do it at the top of the tree, you do it like that, same, same. See, that gets the height of the tree, right? Base to top, right? And then since you're saying 90 degrees, that's where the tree's going to fall. Then you're going to see the, where the top of the tree is going to be once the tree hits the ground. That's what, I, that's what I do around like houses and stuff. That's I think if I follow one towards a house yeah. and I can't tell if it's going to fit in the backyard, right. I'll make a, uh, an educated... I 
walk over here then. We got right on the curb. Not got them out in that tree that was hanging this way. That's that was perfect. That's that good. is perfect. That's where we want the mess. Look at what a mess I gotta clean up. Yeah. <laughs> now, you're cut, now you're cutting for the you're gonna cut this up though, right? <laughs> <laughs> what how long did this take? About 30 minutes? If that. If that if that. Yeah, home. Thank you. Well, McNeese Tree Server. <laughs> You're signing me what out. What would you say? If it, if it fits, it ships. If it fits, it ships. Well, we shipped it. <laughs> there it is. Look at that mess I got to clean up. Look at that mess. Fits, so see see what he, I'm in the wrong side of the business, I like always. Yeah. So he notches, drops pretty much, yeah. and does her right. McNeese and then you got to clean up the and mess. And then I'll clean up the mess. Yeah. So. Uh, we're glad to be with you again today anyway. The reason for taking these down is the root system is invading too much stuff. So um, these maples are really, really um, destructive with the root system. They're starting to come out of the ground. So that's the reason why these trees are coming down. And uh, so we don't have future problems. And uh, that's what we're doing. You gonna sign us out? Yeah, I'll sign you out. Later. Later. <laughs> tree off today y'all. Uh, thank goodness really neighbor let's borrow his trailer so we don't have to drag it all with the back of us. I guess that's interesting. Yeah, that's not... I want to do it.
y'all. I, I made this little uh, cross right here. It's handmade. Look how good I just you made that. You did a that. wonderful job on that. Oh, thank you. Good job. I was just a little bored in the truck, so I got me a little dandelion cool. strand and tied uh, it. Looks like the crown of thorns on the top of it and everything. That looks great. That was cool. And how you split it like that and run the stick through there. That's neat. I like it from the other side. It looks really cool. I don't know. Uh-huh. Yeah, you just need some more string to it. There you go. We're getting her loaded down. Whew. Fifth trip. <laughs> Fifth trip. Probably need uh, at least another two. Probably. We have a little bitty trailer. Load it up. I got to pack all the wood and finish cutting the stump up. Rake and mow, huh? Yep. For just a couple hundred bucks. That's the way it goes. Two, three more loads, huh? She's loaded down. Done great. 